the dude uploads a video every month instead of every week like he's supposed to. I wonder when he's going to upload next. <sighs> Roll the VHS. I'm back. It's been a while. I know. Hello. How are you? What did you have for breakfast this morning? Did you, uh, did you take your dog out for a walk? Did you feed your fish? Did you, uh, measure your shoes lately? We are back. Project Megalodon is back. And, uh, today's video, short and sweet, kind of like candy bar, if you're into that. But today we have an update on Meg to the Trunch. Now this is, it actually isn't brand new news, so bear with me here. Uh, we have this from Strecker Entertainment LLC, which stands for a Limited Lollipop Company. Nailed it. So CMC Pictures, a leading Chinese entertainment company engaged in the development of production, marketing, promotion, domestic, and international distribution of live action and animated films has tapped Strecker Entertainment LLC leading independent entertainment licensing agency to handle worldwide licensing and merchandising for the Meg to the Trench. The much anticipated sequel to the wildly successful original motion picture, the Meg released in late summer 2018, Striker Entertainment will oversee multiple categories for the hugely popular underwater Megalodon franchise including toys and collectibles, lifestyle products, publishing, digital collectibles, gaming, and more. So, for those of you who don't know, the first movie didn't have, like, merchandising. All the Megalodon merchandise that had to be purchased for the movie were from, like, third-party companies, like Etsy or uh, T Public people who made their own logos with the stuff. Like, I have... My shirts that I have were, like, made online. Nothing that I have is official. Um, I mean, there was, there was posters you could buy for the movie, but... Um, this, this What this tells me is they expect this to be a huge hit, that they're willing to spend this much money on merchandise. Um, let's continue to read here, though. Uh, slated for a worldwide release via Warner Brothers Pictures and CMC Pictures in 2023, which will be August 4th, as long as it stays on track. Uh, Make to the Trench, directed by Ben Wheatley, High Rise, Free Fire, and loosely based on the 1999 book The Trench, which was the second book in the series of, from author Steve Alton, my boy. We'll see Jay at the state return to his role as Jonas Taylor alongside Cliff Curtis, Sophia Kai, Paige Kennedy, who were also reprised in his roles from the first film. Uh, new to the franchise is Chinese star uh, Wu Jing, who is well known as the highest grossing Chinese actor with 26.8 billion CNY box office record. Meg to the Trench is written by Dean uh, G. Garris, Eric Hobart, John Hobart, and produced by Lorenzo de Bonaventura and Bill Avery. And I believe a good amount of these writers, too, are people who um, wrote the first movie and they came back to write the second one, which is fantastic. Uh, the Mega is still the most successful to use Chinese co production ever at $535 million in the world box office. It's almost like people like giant animals or giant sharks or giant anything. Godzilla, hold my beer. Uh, Stricker gravitates towards IP that knows its audiences and super serves it with entertainment experiences that they love and want to bring home with them, said Russell Binder, president of Stricker Company or Entertainment. Meg 2 The Trench brings back the prehistoric Mega Predator that thrilled Megalon and Shark fans of 2018 and taps into our societal compulsive fascination with sharks that continues to show Meg significant consumer growth. We believe that Megheads and Shark fanics enthusiastically want to engage and extend the movie going experience with the various products and experiences from the franchise. Catherine Ying, executive producer of the Meg 2 The Trench and the president and CEO of CMN Pictures, said CMC is thrilled to be the new stewards of these rights on behalf of our partners, Warner Brothers. And we believe that the Russell and Stryker Entertainment have this right strategic viewpoint and outreach to properly license these rights to fantastic, critically driven, and custom consumer centric partners worldwide and to create for all of our partners. The deal between CMC Pictures and Stryker was negotiated by Meg to the Trench executive producer, Randy Greenberg. So, basically, what this means, and I take from this, is the first movie was so successful, but maybe they didn't expect it to be as successful as it was, and therefore it didn't have a huge 
uh, merchandising thing. The second one, given how the first movie made, I mean, it's the most successful co-production ever at 533 million in worldwide box office between US and China, which is incredible. It's a lot of money for a giant shark movie that was based off of a book. Um, I expect this to be a, that this movie must be a banger. This must have a, a killer, um, kill, killer directing, killer acting, killer action scenes, because why else would you spend this much money on advertising? But, I mean, this, including toys, collectibles, less products, publishing, digital collectibles, gaming, and more. So that means, could there be a meg game? I don't know. But this came out a month ago. I, my, my channel doesn't really have a set video upload, so if you're wondering whether I upload every week or every month, I just kind of upload whenever I'm ambitious to. Uh, this is a small project. I, I, I don't know if this will ever take off, but I'm just here. And um, stay tuned to the channel, guys. Meg to the Trench is coming next year, and this some years over, we're going to have a trailer pretty soon, which is exciting. Probably next February, which I know isn't soon, but you know, time goes by pretty fast. But just remember to stay optimistic and um, take it away, fake biologist Colin Drake. We have to be open to any possibility, including Megalodon. And that's all, guys. Just a small update on Meg to the Trench. If there's anything else more that I come out of this, be sure to stick to the, to the channel. And uh, you never know what might be swimming up your alley. Uh, if your alley is flooded with water. But um, please, stay healthy, stay dry, carry an umbrella, tie your shoes. Don't forget to check your oil in your car. Make sure your cats are not starving to death because that would be animal cruelty. And I will see you uh, in the next video. Nineteen